Hey everybody, um, this is my seven week video. Um, I'm a little confused because at my doctor's appointment, um, she did an internal exam and felt my uterus and apparently my uterus is more like the size of a eight plus weeks which is kind of strange because I know I can't be any further along than seven. Like anybody that knows me knows that I'm totally OCD with keeping up with like my cycle and all that good stuff and I just like know for sure because I actually watched my test turn positive like from one day being negative to the next day being slightly positive to where you could only see it if you glared at it and then you know all that and I mean, you pretty much know when it's going from negative to positive that you could only be about at the very, you know, most least three to four or three and a half to four weeks. And that was three weeks ago. So, I mean, there's no way I'm eight weeks. Um, so, I don't know what's up with that right now. Maybe it's twins. <laughs> Um, so, I got really sick at the end of last week and into the weekend. Um, the doctor called in some Zofran on Friday, and that stuff did not work at all. So, I just kind of dealt with it, and I spent all Friday night, like, up rocking with, like, nausea and stomach pain. And, um, Saturday I felt better during the day. Like, we went out and we went to the jockey lot and went to a cow show to see my brother-in-law show. And, um, when we came home I started feeling really sick, which was strange because I really hadn't eaten much. <clears throat> and, um, we, we decided that rather than have me spend another sleepless night, um, just gagging and rocking, we would go to the ER and see if they could give me something better for um, nausea. And I got there and um, we went to Abbeville, which normally I'm in and out within like a couple hours, which is like unheard of at an ER. And um, we took my sister, um, cause she was staying with me. And we got there and got checked in and it took all together about four and a half hours because um, they had some critical patients I think but also I was extremely dehydrated and had a bladder infection that I wasn't aware of which could have also like caused some of my like nausea and stuff and that was a surprise I didn't know that I had one I didn't have any symptoms but I think it was really because I was too nauseous to notice and um, it could have also been from being so dehydrated. Um, got out of there, went and filled my medicine. They gave me Finnergan, which works wonders. Like, I can take half a tablet of Finnergan and be, like, nausea-free, which is great. And I know it makes most people really tired, but I'm so tired already, it doesn't matter. I just kind of um, zombie through my day. And let's see, Sunday, I got a little bit of a scare, like, um, I've been spotting pretty much since I got my positive test just a little every other day or so, and I'm not too worried about it, because it's not bright red or anything, it was just a little spotting. And then Sunday, for about an hour, I bled more than spotting, but luckily less than a period, and I, I called the doctor on call, and... <laughs> They said that if it didn't get any heavier, I could wait until Tuesday to my appointment and the doctor would check it out and everything. And So it, it actually went away in about an hour, so I wasn't too terribly concerned because I, I did have a tremendous amount of bleeding when I was pregnant with Brogan. Like, I think I bled heavily for like two or three weeks and that was they said due to capillaries breaking in my uterus but nothing dangerous um so i went into my oh monday i felt a ton better i only had to take finnergan like once during the day and i am sleeping so well right now 
without any help of taking medicine or anything. I just, I guess I'm so tired, I just knock right out and stay that way. Um, Tuesday was my appointment, and I had to be in Greenwood at like 8.45, <laughs> which is, I mean, it's almost an hour drive, but I guess, you know, to have the doctor you want, it's worth it. And uh, my doctor is Dr. Forrest, and she is just awesome so far. Um, took us a while because the first appointment is always kind of long. They drew blood. Um, did my family history and all, which, I mean, is not very extensive. We don't have a history of, like, birth defects or genetic disorders or anything, which we are lucky. And, um... So, pretty much the only thing the doctor did was she came in and um, talked to me about my medicines and about the bladder infection and everything. And she had a student OB with her. Um, she did an internal exam to check my uterus to see if I was on track and to make sure my cervix was closed since I had the bleeding. And luckily, my cervix is perfect, closed. There's been no spotting or bleeding or anything since the appointment on Tuesday. And, um, uh, she had the student OB do an internal exam as well, because, I mean, I'm not shy on anything to help them learn. I mean, she could be my doctor one day, so I, I don't have a problem with that. And, um, apparently, <laughs> uh, my uterus is measuring at eight weeks, like I said, because, I mean, I couldn't possibly be eight weeks, so who knows, maybe there's two in there, um, or... Maybe, you know, I just have a lot of amniotic fluid. I'm not sure. But um, we will find out on October 20th when we go in for our ultrasound. I think the nurse messed up because I believe Dr. Forrest was wanting me to go ahead and have an ultrasound to date the pregnancy. But, I mean, I, I wasn't really willing to argue with her. I just, you know, take what I can get. Ultrasounds are fun. Can't wait see what the baby looks like or babies look like um oh and she called and got my operative letter from Anderson and it turns out that I did have a bikini cut c-section and that means that I can try and have this next baby naturally um as long as I'm not induced um, if I can, if I can hold on and wait and go into labor myself, which I'm hoping I can, I hope my blood pressure behaves this time. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, I can do this the natural way. She said there, there was an 80% chance that I could do it naturally this time, and I like those odds. Um, I will be delivering at Self Regional Hospital in Greenwood, and... Um, once I'm farther along, I'm going to go and do a tour there, see the birthing center and all, but they have an all-in-one, uh, all-in-one room thing where you, um, labor in one room, you deliver in one room, you recover, and you have your mother-baby time all in one room, and it has a jacuzzi, and I think it's probably set up like most hospital rooms, but it'll just be nice to not be moved around 50 times at the hospital. Um, but if I do have complications, she said I would have to have a C-section, and I really, really don't want another C-section, but I'm not going to say I will not have a C-section, because, I mean, you got to be flexible in pregnancy, and whatever is healthiest for me and the baby slash babies that's what I want I want a healthy child I don't I don't care so much what the risks are to me as long as you know the the babies are healthy and I've been through one c-section and I survived it um, healed up really well and if I have to do another one I'm sure it'll go just as well um, but fingers crossed for no complications, so I can have this baby the way I want to this time. Um, the only real symptoms that I'm having this week are being extremely exhausted. And um, 
I still have a little bit of nausea, but it's almost gone. I mean, knock on wood, you know. I uh, hope it doesn't come back, but I'm noticing that, you know, I can eat more now. Um, I don't like soda anymore for some reason. Like, I was a fiend for Diet Coke, and now I don't like the taste of it. It's like I can taste the synthetic sugars in it, and it's just gross. But I am in love with Arizona Teas Grey Bade. It comes in a gigantic can, and I love it. It's not carbonated. Um, the only soda I really want to drink is ginger ale. Um, let's see what else. Um, my next appointment will be on November 3rd, and that will mean that I am out of my first trimester and into my second. And I am excited. Um, and I guess that's about it. Um, oh, I did order a Doppler um, for the fetal heartbeat yesterday, and I'm hoping it'll come in soon. I, I'm so excited to get it because I know I know I'm early, but I have watched so many women on YouTube get the heartbeat at eight and nine weeks, and I'm hoping that if I play with it enough, I can I can find the heartbeat. And that would just be awesome and so reassuring to me. And I can't wait to get it in. I, what I ordered was the um, Sonalign B Pocket Doppler. And it was like, <clears throat> it's like $54, I think. Which is, I mean, not bad for a Doppler that you can reuse over and over again with each pregnancy. And, um... See what else have I ordered? Um, my nanny is gonna try and find me some cloth diapers, so I don't have to make them all. She really doesn't want me to have to work too hard on it. I love my nanny; she's always so concerned. Um, what else? Otherwise, this pregnancy is going really great. Now that the nausea is over, I couldn't be a happier pregnant lady. Um, oh, I bought this little outfit at Goodwill for a dollar, both pieces. And I know it's not guaranteed that I'm going to have a little girl. But if I don't, you know, I'll hold on to it till I do have a little girl because I'm having a little girl. Um... This is the dress. It's got little buttons and they're actually functional all the way up. And then it has the little diaper cover bloomers thing that go with it. And I think it's so cute and I couldn't believe that it was a dollar. Um, that's a good deal whether you have a girl or not. I mean, buy it, give it to somebody because it's adorable and would make really cute pictures. Um, my throat is really dry. My sinuses are kind of acting up, but nothing too bad. I'm excited to say that. Um, well, I guess I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to call this my 7 slash 8 week update because I don't know where I stand right now. Still looks like my due date will be mid-May. Probably closer to the 12th, which is my birthday. And that makes me happy. Um... So I guess I'll show you my belly, and we'll call this video done. Okay. This is it. And I have not gained any weight. I'm actually down by 6 pounds, and I guess that's from all the nausea. But that's the belly I'm sporting right now. I just sat on my cat. <laughs> she doesn't mind though. Alright, thanks for watching you guys. Subscribe.